I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll discuss alternate segment theorem in details. The rule is the angles between a chord and tangent is equal to the angle in the alternate segments. It's also referred to as alternate segment theorem. Now it's kind of confusing to understand which two angles are we talking about. So what I will do here is we have three examples here. So we look for angles which are equal to these angles. Let me sketch some angles, right? So let's say this angle, right? Okay. So you have to figure out which angle is equal to that angle in the given combination, right? So we are trying to find in the very first figure which angle is the angle in alternate segment. That is what we are trying to figure out. Now, if that is the angle, then the segment we are talking about is, is this segment. We are talking about this segment, right? Now, one way to figure out is we could also see the angle which is opposite to it, right? So, so at times when we write, we say angle opposite to. So that is easy way to identify. The alternate segment really means that we are talking about the segment formed by the chord. So that means this chord and the tangent, right? Now, the alternate segment will be the other segment, right? Not this one, not this one. So the other segment is, let's say this. So the angle we are talking about is right there. Do you understand? So that is how you have to identify the alternate segment. You get the point, right? So let's do one more exercise. Let us say that the angle given to us here is, let's say, 42 degrees. Now here, which is the 42 degree angle? Let's say the triangle formed is A, B, C, and this is the point T to us. So it could be a multiple choice question, which one is equal to 42 based on alternate segment theorem. So we'll go with this strategy of opposite side. This is the segment we are talking about and opposite to this is right there. So we'll fill this up. Do you understand? So it's easier to identify looking uh, like opposite side concept. Alternate segment means we are talking about the chord BC, right? So what BC makes with this? Alternate means here. Do you see the other one? Alternate, which is this one, not this, right? So that is how you could see it. Now here is a test question for you. Let's say the points of the quadrilateral are A, B, C, D. Let's call this as, as P and this as T. Okay. In that case, name the angle equal to, so which angle is equal to T, A, B? Which angle is equal to T, A, B? Now it is important to understand that for getting alternate angle theorem as application, we have to make a triangle. So let's join this to make a triangle. You get the idea, right? Now the segment formed by the chord and the tangent is this one. So in the triangle, the opposite side is that. So the angle should be angle ADB, right? So what we get here is, is angle ADB. Do you get it? Perfect. So the angle TAB should be equal to angle ADB. I hope these three figures help you to understand how to identify the equal angles where rule 8 
or alternate segment theorem can be applied to solve questions of finding angles with triangles, squares, any other shapes in a circle. Amadil Kumar, if you like, place some lights. Feel free to subscribe and share. Thank you and all the best.